You might be surprised to learn how many movies never receive an official release. To be clear, these aren't projects that were canceled at the script stage. These are actual films, either partially completed or fully completed, left in cinematic limbo. This series will shine a spotlight on the fascinating stories behind these orphaned films. First up, I Love You Daddy. In 2017, Louis C.K. was riding high on a wave of success. By this point, the renowned comedian had sold out Madison Square Garden eight times. Not only that, he was the creator and star of the critically acclaimed television series Louis on the FX network, earning him praise for its offbeat satire and dark sensibility. 2017 was shaping up to be a banner year for the comic powerhouse, as he wrote, directed, co-produced, and starred in the comedy film I Love You Daddy. C.K. shot the film, quote, entirely in secret that June, having it ready for a premiere in September at the Toronto International Film Festival. But, just as everything seemed to be going perfectly, the world came crashing down for Louis C.K., and I Love You Daddy would find itself branded as unreleasable. The story follows Glenn Topher, played by C.K., a successful television writer and producer, so not a huge leap for him. Topher's 17-year-old daughter, China, played by Chloe Grace Moritz, becomes the focus of unsavory romantic interest from legendary director and rumored pedophile Leslie Goodwin. Played by John Malkovich, the 68-year-old man is known for his relationships with much younger women. Rounding out the impressive cast was Rose Byrne, Charlie Day, Helen Hunt, and Edie Falco. This black and white film was a clear nod to Woody Allen's classic comedy Manhattan. In fact, Louis C.K. even offered the role of Goodwin to Allen himself, who turned it down as the meta joke hit far too close to home for the controversial Allen. You can probably tell that the title is a double entendre, hinting at the uncomfortable nature of the plot. The movie premiered with a single screening at TIFF on September 9, 2017. Entertainment company The Orchard bought the distribution rights for a cool $5 million, with a plan to release the film in a limited number of theaters that November, followed by a nationwide release on December 1st. Everything seemed to be right on track. But then, on November 9th, the New York Times published a devastating article. It detailed allegations of sexual misconduct against Louis C.K., who had a particular kink that involved, well, pleasuring himself in front of women, mainly fellow comedians. These women feared speaking out due to the professional influence wielded by C.K. Making matters even worse, I Love You Daddy contained several elements that, in light of the allegations, made the film just too cringe-inducing. This included a scene where Charlie Day's character pretends to masturbate in front of others, mirroring the real-life accusations against C.K. The Orchard summarily canceled the New York premiere of the film just before the allegations became public. The next day, on November 10th, the film's release, initially planned for the 17th, was completely dropped from the schedule. Within days, the Orchard also put a halt to the deals it had made with international distributors. On December 8th, just under a month after the film's premiere was cancelled, news broke that Louis C.K. had purchased the global rights to I Love You Daddy from The Orchard. This deal involved C.K. repaying the $5 million. He also had to cover the marketing costs already spent, which might have been as high as an additional $1 million. Part of The Orchard's marketing campaign had involved mailing out 12,000 DVD screeners to critics and awards voters. Some of those DVD screeners ended up for sale on eBay, with film fans eager to see the now-notorious movie. The Orchard worked hard with eBay to stop those sales, but this being the 21st century, 
A 1.5 gigabyte rip of the film leaked onto the website The Pirate Bay later that month, made from one of the DVD screeners. Infamous hacker group Hive CM8 was responsible for the leak. They had gained a lot of attention around this time for putting copies of high-profile films online, including The Hateful Eight, Call Me By Your Name, and Lady Bird. While there was early speculation that CK would distribute the film himself on his official website, to date, that hasn't happened. Chloe Grace Moritz soon voiced her regrets over the project, saying, I think it should just kind of go away, honestly. The controversy surrounding I Love You Daddy has sadly tarnished the work for its cast and crew. As it stands today, the film exists in a hazy gray area. While a movie like Batgirl remains unseen by anyone outside its production, a good number of people have pirated I Love You Daddy and shared their thoughts about it online. Opinions are split, but for the vast majority of filmgoers, the dubious comedy remains out of reach. It has never appeared on a streaming site or on television. Given the damaged reputation of the film's creator and star, it's likely the movie will remain trapped in cinematic purgatory for years, doomed to languish as one of the many unreleasables. So, tell me your thoughts in the comments. Do you think the movie should be given an official release? Or is it best left adrift in the torrent jungle? I'm Michael Cahill. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for even more videos. Until next time.